Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building a tiny whoop. We're going to quickly go over the parts that I'm going to be using for this build and also the pricing so you can see how much I have in this build to see if you want to build something similar. Today we're going to be using a mix in between newbie drone parts and beta FBV parts. So let's get straight into the parts we're going to be using. First off for our flight controller, we're going to be using the beta FBV 1S 5 amp F4 flight controller and this one comes in at $39.99. This flight controller does not have a built-in VTX so we're going to be using the Beta FPV VTX. This is the M03. Um, this is a up to 400 milliwatts VTX and so this comes in at $19.99. The camera we're going to be using is a C03 from Beta FPV and this comes in at $19.99 and it also comes with the Beta FPV canopy. And then moving over to the frame, this is the Meteor 65 and this is $4.99. These frames are very good. They aren't very easily broken. And so I really like these frames. So we're going to be using that frame for the build. And then as far as the motors, we're going to be using the 0802 Newbie Drone 18,000 kV motors. And these come in at $32.99. And so not bad price for four motors. So $32.99 for those. The total amount for all these parts is $119.75. And so let's get straight into building this whoop now. First off, we're gonna put the grommets into the flight controller. This might take a little bit of time and get a little bit annoying, uh, but you'll get it eventually. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tin all the motor pads on the flight controller. The flight controller does come in with motor plugs um, but we aren't going to be using those because we're going to be wanting to cut down a little bit on weight and to make it a little bit better in the air, cut down on that weight. So let's go ahead and tin all those now. We also need to tin where we're going to hook up the VTX. And I did lay a diagram here so you can see which ones you need to tin. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut the motor wires to the proper length. Make sure not to cut them too short um, because you don't want to be soldering on new motor wires. I've done that before and that's not fun. So make sure to take your time and get them to the proper length. We're going to go ahead and take off a little bit of the covering on the motor wires and so we can tin them. And then let's go ahead and tin all the motor wires so we can solder them onto the controller. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to solder these motors right onto the flight controller. It doesn't matter exactly which motor wire goes where right now. You can always switch that later in a configurator or you can just swap two motor wires and that will swap the direction on the motor. After we get all the motors soldered up, we're going to go ahead and tin all our VTX wires that they send with the VTX. We're also going to tin the VTX and then solder on those wires we just tinned onto the VTX. Now we're going to go ahead and solder our VTX onto the flight controller and if you have your VTX antenna straight up, all the wires will be straight in, so it's pretty easy. Just make sure you're matching the 5 volt to 5 volt, and then also all the others. Make sure they match, you don't want to get them backwards. Now 
Then we're going to go ahead and mount our camera into the canopy, and then we're going to go ahead and plug it straight into the VTX. The VTX does mount right on the bottom of the goober or the canopy and so all you have to do is just screw in these two screws. Now that we got those screws in, we're going to go ahead and put everything onto the frame, make sure our motors are going through the proper slots, and also our pigtail. Then you're going to go ahead and screw the flight controller and the canopy down to the frame. You're going to want to go ahead and start with the first screw and then the other three. Now after getting that done, all we have to do is mount our motors to the frame. Just make sure these are nice and snug. So we got the Tiny Whoop all built. This one was a little bit harder to build because the soldering pads on the VTX and flight controller are really small. So if you're a beginner to soldering, I would recommend probably just buying one pre-built and so you don't have to solder on those small soldering pads because it wasn't the easiest, especially in front of the camera. But we did get it all built. I'm anxious to get this up in the sky and fly it. We probably will do a review video of this in the near future to let you guys know how I'm liking the Beta FBV parts. Um, I've never really flown with them or done anything with Beta FBV, so I'm anxious to give those a try. And also, we do have the Newbie Drone BLV4 with the TBS Crossfire built right in. We're going to be reviewing this in the near future, also, so really excited about that. If you guys enjoyed this video and also want to see further drone content, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.